Hey again, everybody. Welcome to Falcon Country. Chris Lewis. Glad we can celebrate some more Falcon Pride with one of our great student athletes. And with us today, going to be telling us where she's going a little later on, Kristen Yeager, one of our great cross country runners and distance runners in track. So, uh, Kristen, welcome. And why don't you tell us who you have here? Um, I have my mom, my dad, my brother Donnie, and then my brother Josh. And there was a couple siblings that uh, couldn't make it yeah. today. I'm one of six, so. Six of yeah, you. Yeah, we're missing a few. I don't <laughs> think we would have had a table big enough here. <laughs> uh, so you're, you're a distance runner, obviously. Uh, when and why did you start running, especially as a distance runner? Well, I feel like I've been running like my whole life, but competitively, I started in seventh grade. I joined the cross country team. Um, my sister contributed to that because she did cross country and track seventh through 12th grade, and there's a six year gap. So when she was ending, I was just starting. So you were running on the track team in middle school then. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't something that uh, you kind of wanted to do on your own. You're kind of, you know, looking up to big sister and uh, wanting to be like her, huh? Yeah. Now, is it a lonely sport? Because sometimes it seems like, uh, you know, runners are just in their own little world. Um, you know, how, how does that feel? Um, yeah, there's definitely moments where you do have to run alone and you just have to be consistent and you have to keep yourself accountable. But there's also a lot of moments where like my team has helped me where we would meet up when we didn't have practice and we would still get our runs in together. So you weren't always by yourself yeah. and I'm assuming you enjoy it. Yeah. Cause I, Sometimes I see runners and I think... Uh, it has its days, yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> um, well, how do you make yourself faster? And, you know, what what kind of mentality do you need to, you know, improve and be faster when you're out there all alone? Um, you just have to keep looking forward and keep having your goals in mind. I like to write mine down in advance. So just keeping those in mind and just staying consistent and being patient with it. Well, being a Cowboys fan, I can tell you, mm -hmm. one of the greatest quotes that I've ever heard was Emmett Smith saying, a dream is just a dream until you write it on paper, then it's a goal. So writing that down, that's uh, you're on the right track there. So most memorable moment, either as an individual runner or with the team? Um, my most memorable moment would have to be after the 1600 of regionals, um, top four make it to state, and I finished and I got fifth, so I went on my cool down thinking that my season was over, and that's when Coach Damon and Coach Cassano pulled me in aside, and they asked like a question so casual, they were like, oh, so what are you doing next Saturday? And they like kind of paused and I looked like confused, and then he said, because you're running at state next week, so yeah, all my emotions just like came out in that moment I think I screamed I believe <laughs> what was it a surprise did you know you had won before that or um it was like a wild card spot so it was like oh okay yeah so originally I didn't qualify so you, you just happened to be in the right place yeah. at the right time wow that is that special now if you look at some of the pictures outside the gym um we've got the Austin Town Athletic Hall of Fame and it seems like every other picture that's out there every other class of inductees has either a cross-country team picture on it or you know, a track team from different years and when you think of yourself being part of that tradition has it ever hit you and you know been overwhelming to think that you know that you represent uh, you know those uh, past teams and even future teams I mean, for sure, like, I have looked up to those people on the walls for so many years now, and, um, like, when I was a freshman, I came in thinking that I'm going to do the best I can, so maybe someday I can be one of those people. And you are on the wall currently, but uh, not in the Hall of Fame yet. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you're the record holder in uh, which event? The 1600 indoor record. And you set that in 2021, correct? Yes. Wow. Wow, that's you're, you're on definitely uh, you know got a shot to make it uh, one day I think so maybe you'll we'll see your picture out there as well. Um, what kinds of life lessons can you carry with you from you know being a track and field athlete and into the future? 
My biggest life lesson would have to be let go and let God. Um, there's a lot of things you can't control in running, whether that's like the weather or through injuries, which I have learned recently. But what you can do is learn, or you can stay consistent, and it's all about being patient. Um, because at the end of the day, when you step onto that starting line, all there is left to do is to leave it to God. It's just clear the mindsets, and uh, you know, if He wants you to win that day, you're going to win, right? And obviously, you've got you know, the family here that, uh, you know, anybody that could make it made it for you. So, um, you know, how has that support, uh, you know, helped you along the way? Oh, for sure. Like, there's always been at least one person at my meet screaming, being loud. And, yeah, they're always here for me. And can you hear that as a, as a runner or are you blocking it out? Well, usually I block it out, but sometimes there's no way you can block out them. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the loudest? What'd you say? Um, this guy right here. Dad? <laughs> yeah, he always screams like, bring home the bacon, like really loud. <laughs> well, and in most cases you do, so uh, a great encouragement from dad. Is there anyone in particular who has had a major impact on your success as a runner? Um, definitely Coach Amy. She, there, there's no doubt about it that she was very talented um, as she still holds like many of our records. But I think what is so cool is how she's still involved to this day in the sport. And that's just something that inspires me to be, and all my coaches in general too. Mm -hmm. um, but also my teammates, um, they have like pushed me to do more, whether that is when we are doing our 10 mile long runs on Sunday, or just like the simple things like stretching together. 10 mile runs yeah. on a Sunday, no less. Yes. Wow, I'm usually in bed on a Sunday, so <laughs> I can't say I would ever even dream of uh, a 10 mile run. Just being able to do it is uh, impressive to me. So with that, where are you gonna be going as if we uh, couldn't tell already? Malone University. Malone University, Kristen Yeager going to be the latest pioneer at Malone College. So let's give her a big round of applause, everybody. And go ahead and put pen to paper, make it official. And while she's signing, um, mom, dad, brothers, how you feeling? Anything to say? God bless Kristen. Aw. <laughs> I can see some tears welling yeah. up, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of her. Yeah, she's always liked running all her life. She was, um, she took to that at a young age when she started soccer in fifth, fourth grade. And um, she, uh, she has like, for many years, um, has, never uh, gave up her goals she's always followed them and um, and then she has a strong faith in the Lord and she prays before her races and it helps her and we're just there to cheer her on her sisters and brothers and we're just so proud of her and it sounds <laughs> like uh, you've experienced uh, yes. some great passion from from your daughter so yes, yes. that's that's a lot excellent of hard work and dedication well yeah. Moving on from, you know, being a runner, uh, let's talk about uh, what what you plan to really do in college. Um, I want to major in chemistry. Chemistry? Mm -hmm. um, anything specific? Um, I'm looking at working in a power plant. And a power plant? Yeah, and they like test like the samples and stuff. Wow, that's, that's a unique answer. I, I don't know anybody that's uh, <laughs> ever said, I want to be a, a chemist in a power plant before. <laughs> <laughs> so you you hear uh, a lot of different answers, but uh, that that one uh, just might be my favorite <laughs> so far. Um, now, usually this is the point where I ask whoever is signing to uh, give us a little insight on the program, whether it's been a successful program over the years or you know what you're walking into. But uh, I got uh, a detailed education about. Malone's track and field program from our athletic director, Russell Hauser. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
you know, let everybody know what uh, you're going to be walking into. Now, Coach Jack Hazen has been with Malone for 55 years, and that works out to over 100 seasons of coaching experience when you count fall and spring. And he's won multiple NAIA national titles, and now they're also very competitive at the NCAA Division II level. Plus, Coach Hazen has also worked with Olympic athletes and even served on the track and field management team for the uh, 96 Olympics down in Atlanta. And that doesn't even include being named head coach of the U.S. men's teams at the Cross Country World Championships. So how in the world does that make you feel when you walk into such a, a hugely program, hugely successful program that is? Yeah, Jack Hazen definitely has his name out there. He's um, coached like, over 300 All-Americans, so it's definitely exciting to think that maybe I could add to that. And do you see yourself um, running cross-country in the fall and distance in the spring? Yes. And uh, are you able to run indoor or? Yeah, Okay. have so an indoor program. You'll be doing all three? Mm -hmm. uh, running all year? Well, and uh, you'll still have time to uh, become a chemist and, and work in a, a power plant. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one that I'm never going to forget, Kristen, so I, I appreciate that. Um, and with the success that Coach Hazen has had, can you see yourself improving as an individual with his help and, you know, national titles, maybe making it onto a world championship team or even the Olympics? Um, for sure. I, I mean, I will start with like smaller goals than that, but, um, and try to build my way from there. Um, as long as I'm happy and I'm scoring for my team and I have that support from my teammates, I think that's the biggest thing. Well, we are definitely proud of you and uh, happy we can share this moment with you. And, you know, if there's anything else you'd like to add or maybe, you know, family you'd like to add something, uh, feel free. I think Kristen's goal orientation has really helped her, and and it's something uh, for us all that we all can do for ourselves as individuals, set goals and and strive and work toward them. Well, very well put, and uh, Kristen, it seems like uh, you know you've had a, a lot of great advice from Dad. So over the years, I'm sure he's helped a lot. So. We congratulate Kristen Yeager once again. She is going to Malone University to be a pioneer on the cross country teams as well as the indoor track team and the distance track team in the spring. So once again, let's give Kristen a big round of applause. And on behalf of all of country, Falcon country, excuse me. This is Chris Lewis reminding you once again to always celebrate your Falcon pride.